Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> what up, people? Welcome to Feature Friday. Yes, let's check out. Oh, Jesus. Let's check out some um, some of the best male vocalists in the Philippines. Yes. Of course, there's some names here. I think my hat might be a bit wonks. <laughs> uh, there might be some names here that we uh, we have we... never seen before. No, no, but there's gotta be some names that are obvious. Some of the obviously some of the best singers in the in the country in the in the Filipino music industry that are not on the list, yes. like Gary Valenciano, yes. uh, Martin Nievera. Yes. Uh, you know, that's, I mean, fuck it up, bamboo. There's so many, right? Mm -hmm. um, the list keeps going because we've checked them out. So in today's podcast, we were kind of we thought, well, let's check out definitely a bunch of new artists. Uh, there's so many as well. Certainly some familiar names, um, like obviously Arthur did a performance that uh, in the Wish Awards that we haven't seen. I'd love to check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a big fan of Zach and he just performed yes. in the Wish Bus and we hadn't had a chance to check that out. True. Um, and apart from that, another the only other familiar name is probably like... Oggy al -Kassid. And SP19. That's true. And everyone else is just brand yeah. new. Uh, apart from that, do make sure you get your merchandise if you wish to get the limited edition because uh, it's, it's three out. days away. By Monday, it won't be available on futureforestore.com ever again. Ah. Those designs and that merchandise is only available until the end of February. So if you do, uh, thank you so much for making that decision. Apart from that, we sold over 35 units, um, which was brilliant. I mean, it's the first time we've done something like this, so we're certainly learning as we go. Uh, please, if you if you bought yours and you have your picture, send them through. It's, it's obviously awesome to see them uh, and enjoy our song. Why? 
gotta just change, man. There's too much negativity around you. So now we're, let's begin with some of the uh, most requested and very known, like, staple from it's quite back old. in the day. I think yes. they're retired, actually. Yeah, I think they are. So this is Apple Hike in Society. And when I met you, the music video is literally living their best old. 80s life. Yeah, yeah, it's quite old. And I love that Give for them and for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta tell you, man, the Philippines, like old music, reminds me so much back home, man. Me too. Oh my god, it's the music video. Oh, it's universal. Ooh. Oh! Oh. Oh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> they have the lyrics so you can sing along. Even knowing what love and life we're all about yeah. Then you came, you brought me out So I probably shouldn't sing, you will ruin it Thank you <laughs> <laughs> It's quite singable though, I to love it To be completely it. honest, to be completely honest The chord progression, the arrangements, they're so jazzy And at the same time it's like super like Modern. 80s, super relaxed Also, it's because that 80s sound is coming back True, yeah, that's so true. So it feels, it feels like that whole trendy uh, play it off the radio Did you're that? listening to. Yeah, true. Midnight Gems. Yeah. You know? Are we playing it again? Yes. Because I ruined it. Yes. Thanks, mate. No problem. Yeah. There I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a good one. Oh my god, that's a good one. existence as like you know oh just the two of us yeah it, and like what you won't do for love yeah. <laughs> you know it's like i know you wonder where i've been yeah this yeah is going straight into that playlist again this is what i mean it's like this is the magic of being able to discover music from different industries different time periods thanks to uh not I me mean, not only you guys thanks you know Thanks to the internet as well. 1983, you know? exactly the year it was released, to be completely Yeah, right. early June 80s. Paredes composed it. Keep going, keep going. I quite like this. Yes, me too. I, quite like this. I concur, I concur. I concur. Doctor, do you concur? Yes. Yes, I do concur, Doctor. I love the arrangement. Man. And I'm sure. Oh, the last time they never felt kids. so good. Oh, way where they can bother me. Holy fuck, what a song! What 
a song. Listen, what those a harmonies, song. the harmony section, bro, they were so close together and at the same time they were so cohesive. They're one entity of sound. That's This is really popular uh, given the era. So like the 80s was really, especially funk and soul music was very popular for this type of vocal layering. Correct. Live, right? Which is the, the, the magic of it all. But, but, seeing it perform live at the same time as you're experiencing the song for the first time heightens the difficulty of the vocal layering in this in, in this um settings yeah because um obviously you're working on sevens and suspendeds and really close seconds and it's all about the sixths and it's all very close to each other harmony work um so you got to be so concentrated and even though they're highlight keys uh, moments in the song these are the moments that make the song the staple sound that they are. Right. Um, I wonder if anybody has actually dared to to recreate this Covers, sound. Man. Yeah. I think um, was it Daryl that I saw a cover of? I wasn't I wasn't too sure. Maybe it was another singer because obviously we're making the list, and my mind is a bit <laughs> convoluted. Do you know who I think would make a fantastic, super flavorful cover of this? Uh, no. Nance Busa. Ah. Yeah. That's true. Oh my God! Yeah, he was basically born for this. <laughs> Literally, soul music, funk, but also an OPM. Yeah, go on, go on. Let's keep. Wouldn't keep, it be cool? Keep proceeding. Oh, and they're having the time of their lives. Dressed like real men as well. Oh. I love sure. Okay, dog. My love, who could ask for more? You give me a for my being and my love, what I'm feeling. You gave me a meaning to my life. Yes, I've gone beyond existing. And it all began when I met you. That's my karaoke song. I'm playing that when I go to the Philippines. Oh my goodness! So what is it called? Oh. Apple Hiking Society. Yes. I am playing. I'm. I'm. That's my karaoke song, dog. Bro, what a vibe. Before it was Jano Gibbs. Yes. <laughs> but now is this? Actually, Before oh. It was Jano. Uh, Gibbs. What is it? Pangarap. Ako. Ako. Ibiginka. That's the one. Yes, yes. But that, let's say that's quite far my range. <laughs> a little bit too. This, though, I could do both high and drunk. <laughs> you know, as you should. When I met mm. you. Ephra, whoa, flavor, baby. Da, 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 oh. da, da. I love that bit. It's like, it's yes. fucking saying, it's like, we're going to be me. making love. What more could I ask for? <laughs> what a lovely night. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a reason so, for my life. Hold on a second. You search up. Uh, search up in Google. Google yes. them. Yes. Google them. And let us know if you like that. They're awesome, dude. They're awesomeness. Total awesomeness. Because obviously the cool thing about the pod is like a lot of you guys watch oh, and I you know, know you're watching it for the first time as well. So do make sure you, you, you show them all the love. I think they're retired. So, okay. So Apple. Apollinario. Mabini Hiking Society, later popularly known as Apple Hiking Society, or simply Apple, was a Filipino musical group. Wikipedia. Well, from the 70s. 
Wow. Holy wow, fuck, that's, that's a lot, lot of words. Information my eyes cannot read. Also, Filipino music group, the group had, had fledging beginnings in 1969 mm-hmm. at the Ateneo de Manila High School with 15 members. Um, those are all the Jim Paredes, Bobby Garovillo. Um, okay. So the genre and they f- is Manila sound. All right. OPM. OPM. And they stopped in 2010. Right. So, so they were active from the 69 to 2010. That's such a long career, dude. Holy shit. Guacamole. So, so, I mean, come on. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I liked this, it a lot. Me too. I think this definitely is a way to open anything in life. Like this, if you want to be on a vibe, this is it. I've been literally vibing to all funk and soul classics for the past three weeks. I think I've been working, listening to, you know. <laughs> I wish I all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aware of me. Yeah, all your, all your good old classics from funk and soul for no reason. They just, they're great vibes, yeah. right? So this is going straight into that playlist. I love, me. I love, this is such good music to play as well in the uh-huh. drums. It's awesome. You can, you really learn arrangements and it's like, Flavor. You learn. Mm. You learn how to play with flavor. That's 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 what I could. Uh, and not only flavor, but character. Because playing this type that's, of music comes with. Is there a synonym, mate? No, it's not a synonym. In musical terms, it might be because what what character, makes character character is not the same as flavor. Because you could be flavorful without being a very bland character. A hundred percent, you can. I've seen it done before. But isn't but isn't that quite uh contradicting no because you could just stand there and sing this perfectly and not give you the whole ah watch oh you, okay you mean you mean performance well that's what it means with character that's what i mean by character at least me, okay. Galesca, Herrera, yo. okay yeah yes yeah because flavor and character right so look like, like in the drums in the drums what makes a a, a drama distinct mm-hmm it's the seasoning, the right. flavor that they bring. And it comes with character. That's, yeah, that's the characteristic which becomes mm. recognizable. Yes. But I guess what you mean for is like if a, a, a drama with a lot of character in the sense that you mean it, it's a uh, Tomoya uh, Kanki from, Kanki yeah. from uh, One OK Rock. Yes. He's got a lot, he's, he's got a character himself. Yeah. Um, but. He's, he 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 plays with flavor too, so he mm-hmm. gives it that seasoning and that kind of fullness. But I, okay, I understand if you mean it like that. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, I, I just think you need you need that type of like outgoing personality to go with it yeah. too, as well. I don't know. There's something it entices that, doesn't it? Yes, there's something more to the genre. So itself. It incites that, not entices. Incites that type mm-hmm. of. I wish I won when I met you. That's right. Yeah. It's like wah wah wah. Well, let's go. Let's go. Sophisticated and listen. vibes. Let's go listen to. Oh, the no. today. The today. Today's era. This oh, is. Yes. This is. You know, arguably, it's either Zach or Arthur at the moment who are kicking ass. Literally, uh, they're everywhere in the charts, even internationally speaking. Yeah. So I I missed this one of my favorite songs by Zach. Spoiler alert! I've heard this song about fifty million times. I just <laughs> yes. wanted to give this a watch because. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. Okay. Um, and it's Give Me Your Forever by Zach. Which, can anyone explain to me why he says, back in 74? I think I read in the comments when we are doing a, the live stream. The yeah, last... it was a joke. That it was part of, based on his past life. Oh, I Someone thought... was joking. Because they uh... put their laughing emoji. Lol. But again, They're I don't trolling know. you. Yeah, yeah. They be trolling you, press, bro. Press, press, please. We're out here trying to solve a mystery, people. Yeah. Oh, he's not playing in the dark. Because it's an acoustic, I see. He just brought the electric, maybe for another performance or a vibe. There's very little reverb there. Very that dry, eh? So dry, bro. That's interesting. Go on. Ah, that's, hu- that's hurtful for me. Yeah. It makes me nervous. Do you remember? Young, you were always with your friends. Ah! Wanted to grab your hand and run away from them. I knew that it was time to tell you how I feel. Wow. So I made a move, I took your hand. My heart was beating loud like I've never felt before. Damn, that's so rough. You smiled at me 
like you wanted more. Also, can we have a moment for that posture? What type of posture is that, sir? What the hell? How are you singing like that? I will never get that. And ladies and gentlemen, that's life, life. That is very life. The way he's breathing, the way he's... Also, I think he's very emotionally connected to the song. Like, it means a lot it, to him, it seems. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something really meaningful behind this. There's also a remix dropped of this um, with this guy, who I forget his name, um, recently. So they, they've been... Oh, literally, we were just listening to... Look, to literally, know. we were listening to Arau Arau. <laughs> and then look at the first song of the playlist. <laughs> Give me off forever. Um, but yeah, he released... Your screen is very dirty. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> yeah, he just looks so dirty on camera. Oh, wow, he's just released Iba with Moira de la Torre. Oh! You should check that out. Right now? Yeah. I mean, well, it doesn't have, it a, it doesn't have a video. It defeats the of this. But yeah, yes. Um, <laughs> but yes. He released it with, oh, Bill... Bill King. Bill King. He did a remix of this with Bill King. Right, nice. Um, but yeah, I wonder if that Moira de la Torre with Zach, that's a fucking big song. That's a big name. Anyways, go on. Those are big names coming together. Yeah, pretty universal. Most likely. Like to block our ass. <laughs> I think you're the one I've never seen before. He just sang at Dubai. I want you to know I love you the most. I'll always be there right by your side. Cause baby, you're always so much games. is so difficult yeah. is, it just comes out of nowhere the power behind it and it's so repetitive that you really need to find this kind of like stable grounding that comes with it uh he's literally chilling this is the most relaxed sack i have seen in a really long time I, unless Beanie, you Beanie. see him unless you see him like in in his you know live streams like live streams like hilarious. His, which is this basically good singer yeah I think there's a lot of comfort that comes with that type of repetition. Yeah, well, I think maybe translates, he's, right? Obviously, this this kind of posture that you're seeing here, this demeanor, it's actually a really good tell that he does this in this environment, kind of like um, sounding environment often, which is quite. It puts him at a, such an advantage when he comes to platforms like this. Uh, he really is going there to eat CDs. I think also, um, yeah, he. Th I think you're right because he wasn't startled by anything here. Like, there's no double checking, ear out, ear, ear in. Um, the gain is quite a lot on that fucking mic. Yep, so yep. So that, that's such a gainful mic. I don't know if it must have actually worked. But yeah, but it's, it's, it is pretty... Sensitive, right? And no startled, no nothing. He's just used to it, I guess. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know how many takes this took. It's certainly a continuous take, so... Certainly one of the most relaxed demeanors in this environment I have seen in a long time. Oh, it is, it's kind of hard, though, to say because we've seen quite a few um, live performances from Wish in, yeah. in the same environment. And it's always a nerve-wracking, like, yeah, atmosphere overall. It's certainly not his first time either on the Wish no. side. It's like the third, fourth. No, but obviously this demeanor speaks volumes yeah, to cool. me. Truly. It would be possible for you to be with me. Because mm -hmm. you love someone else back in 73. What does that mean? I was such a He's either trying to date a 50, 60 year old, oh. which is, I mean, whatever you want, mate, or what the fuck? I thought. It's a ghost or something. I thought this song. Was yeah. maybe about like his, his parents. parents or something, yeah. yeah, I said that before, right? Where That's what I thought as well. I don't have an earring on. Uh, okay. I was like, where did you go? Uh, but yes, I think. But that, that's it. This is just my interpretation. Obviously, it could be completely wrong, which I think it actually is. But I'm given, given the given the uh, 
I don't know. The the fact that the date it's Text him. Give me your phone. Uh, <laughs> you're going to text him right now? Yeah, I'll text him right now. Hey, Zach. Be like, hey, bro. I'm just checking out your thing. Just a random question. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean by 73? Yeah. Back in 73. Uh, Zach. I wish I could show you my screen. Uh, I'll, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Because <laughs> like last like last time we spoke was, was like a long time ago. Yeah, it was like, like June. Last year. Um, and he was just so busy. Um, anyways, hey Zach, little question. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so my brother <laughs> loves. Uh, give me. Give me your forever. Your forever. Mm-hmm. Yes. Forever. But he has a question. Has about a the question lyrics. About the lyrics. In the second verse. In second verse. Yes. What do you mean <laughs> by... What does he actually say? Back in 73. It would be possible for you to be with me. Okay. Who would have known? Who Wait, knew? what? Go to the lyrics? Put yes, the screen I up. Will, I will find the lyrics, okay? Lyrics. Hold my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing so. Glad you replies <laughs> live in the moment. Even though we're recording this, it's like fucking five o'clock in the morning over there. We are doing some research. Zach uh, Tabudlo. Zach. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, Tabudlo. Yes. Give, give me, me your forever, forever lyrics. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Someone's going to clip this and send it to me. Anyway. <laughs> it's going to be like, what does this mean? It's going to be like, lo, lo, lo. All right, so, yes. He, hey, says, he said, I never knew it would be possible for you. Okay. Bye. For you to be with me. I never knew it would be possible. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean I to be back in 73? You. I'll just say, for you to be with me. Because okay. you love someone else back in 73. Just send them that part. Because you love someone else. <laughs> you loved someone else. Someone else. Back in 73. Back in 73. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> you weren't alive then. Anyways, love your recent stuff. Congrats on the Dubai show. It looked amazing both. On Dubai show. Looked amazing. XOXO double year escape. Yes. Yeah, look. <laughs> one one is out there? Just uh, you know, yeah, you know. This is, this is like the previous. Stuff. No, don't show oh, sorry, me sorry, sorry. previous messages. Sorry, sorry. But fri okay, anyways, freaking hell. There you go, brother. It's if he replies soon. He's gonna be like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> well, as an exact little question. So my brother loves. Give me your forever. But he has a question about the lyrics in second verse. What do you mean by cause you love someone else back in 73? Anyway, it's love your reason. Concerts in Dubai show looked amazing. XOXO. <laughs> 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 so. Anyways, so. anyways, just out here living the best life. <laughs> back to this, bro. <laughs> I'm a bit fan of the guy. I like him. Me too. I think he's he pretty chill. So I've never met him, but go on. He's so talented. It would be possible for you to be with me. Maybe it just rhymes. Maybe just because it rhymes. Shut up, no way. I was so jealous seeing you with What? Him. You went alive! Oh baby, I know that I can treat you better back in those nights. Oh, you wouldn't cry for me, stupid lies. Nice take. Oh, right. oh baby, I was there watching, wishing you to be mine. Oh yes, Zach. I want you to know I love you the most. I'll always be there, right by your side. Cause baby, you're always in my mind. Just give me a forever. I want you to know that you'll be the one, and I'll be the guy you'll be on this knees. He is too. Finally got one. That's ridiculously good. I was on the aisle 
Mm-hmm. He's so he's stable saying, and but, relaxed. See, in this, in this, in this part of the lyrics, he's saying, "I was in the aisle." Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is this song, and why do I like it so much? But what's the actual such a story? <laughs> and why is he so heartbroken? Maybe I should have just texted him saying, "What's this lyrics about?" Just the overall. <laughs> <laughs> you know. If you're watching too late this, now. Mate, too, too late now. Whatever she sent, don't ignore that. Just address this. What's the actual lyrics? <laughs> What does it mean? <laughs> Why are we talking about a monkey? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's actually addressed it in an interview or something. So if you do have that. Also, people yeah. drop it down below. Yeah, but I'm sure he's going to reply be like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it's it's going to be like, I think your brother's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> For replies to that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Every fear ever. That's the thing is, I was still getting nervous. You know what I mean? Of like, course. People are mean? fucking big, you know. We, I just think it's like, ha ha ha! I admire you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? when we do podcast with some of these guys, it's still, you know, at the beginning, it's always a bit. It, I'm a bit weird though. <laughs> I don't really get like, uh, you know, I, I've discussed this in the channel before. So it doesn't seem many stuff makes me starstruck. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is obviously the nerves because you admire this guy. That's right. Um, and and I mean, again, I, you don't know if they're gonna like you. You know, know if they're gonna, and yeah, like also it's quite weird reviewing someone's work and then it meeting is. them. Yeah, it is. It is a bit bizarre. Yeah, because you have opinions and stuff, mm. so it's really weird. But yes. anyway, it's gone. But yeah, he is back in the altar here. Yeah. I, I was on the aisle waiting for you, babe. Saw you in your gown. I was crying all my tears. I don't know. I told myself that you are the one Maybe it's just a dream he had or something You're the one Wow, really? Traveler or something. Yes, that's Time cool. Traveler conspiracy theory begins today. <laughs> Hashtag Zach isn't from the 2000s. <laughs> Hashtag Zach isn't real. How old is he? He's at my age, right? Like two years younger I than me. I think he's younger than you, yeah. Yeah. He wasn't even born in the 90s. Can oh. you imagine that? <laughs> Says the guy that was born in 98. 98. Just scrape by Cool Kids Club as loud. <laughs> cool Kids Millennial almost. Yeah, yeah. Well, again. Let us know what you thought about it. If this is your first time checking it out, go check out Zach's shit. It's unbelievable, mate. Like, one of my favorite singers at the moment. This one of the singers I listen to the most. Yes. I think that album he made, it's like pinnacle pop, uh, but also pinnacle alternative. It's, it's just really... a really good compilation of... It's a great body of work. It's yeah, something yeah. that you really enjoy listening to as a whole thing. And I look at him and I think, like, you know, if you're a big fan of, like, the whole original Filipino music mm-hmm. scene... He would. He will be a pioneer in the future of taking oh. that really world class. If he isn't already, I mean, yeah, there, yeah. there's so much there. Yeah, uh, but he wouldn't surprise us. A lot of people are like, "Oh, yeah, I actually know a Filipino singer." Mm-hmm. Yes. you know what I mean. Yes. So, but yeah, who do we have next? This is what's fantastic. Love that. Love that. All right, oh, now we're time. going back. Yeah, so we're going back in time again. Nice. So this is Joy Ajala and Ang Bagong uh, Lumat. Lumat. Ang Bagong Lumat. That's right, Efra. Thank you. And Ang Bagong Lumat. <laughs> this is the first time for the whole of the collaboration we don't featuring really Dong Abai that's right uh, so let's have a little look and the name is yes Walang Hangang Paalam gosh oh my god Mr. Cool Dude I'm ready right really to date a Filipina girl dude and Ooh. she wouldn't even have to speak to me in English 
speak to me in Tagalog, baby. No, I'm no, ready. she's trying to speak to me in sign language because I can't fucking understand <laughs> Tagalog. <laughs> no, just speak to me in titles of songs. <laughs> yes, yes. No, just send me songs. Send me songs, we'll communicate in that manner. How about that? Go yeah, on. impromptu karaoke sessions? Always yeah. welcome, yes. Oh, yeah? Yes? Oh, he's reading something. I think the lyrics. From a book song, a song book. No way. It's that iconic. Yes, I actually, said, I actually learned it uh, from um, yes, para uh, sa is the is the uh, Magnus Haven song. Ah, Magnus Haven song. Yes, yes. Imagen. Yes. Uh, Imagen. Also, I mean, musically speaking, apart from the language, it's just because I have to say it's a beautiful language, truly. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying that because. It sounds really well in music. It's just genuinely the the sound phonetically speaking of the language itself. The sound phonetically. Yeah, I know redundant. <laughs> but you know what I meant. Yes. It's wonderful. There you go. That's all <laughs> I wanted to say. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks for that, mate. I didn't mean that that way. Oh, yes, Listen, yes. I think he could literally send me to a new land. I want to hire him as my grandfather. And tell me and sing me these songs. <laughs> tell me folkloric so tell me folkloric stories through music. It's Joey, the person that when people requested it, he said oh, he's very famous because of his patriotic pieces. Maybe, could be. Yeah, I think he has a tone, a tone that speaks patriotism. Yeah, Simon Diaz back home. Yes, but he didn't have this like warmth. Yeah, he is. He is very well known for his patriotic music. Right. Well, correct, because you can kind of feel it. Yes, and I think it, it comes from the warmth mm. in the vocal tonality. Here's I, I was I was watching other other people out uh, out there in the world reviewing music from the world too, and a, a, a statement that struck with me is like you can be a great technical singer, but if you don't have a a, a signature sound, you're you're you you will be lost in the sea of many, right? Uh, and this particular Joey has that it factor, right? Like it comes with the warmth in the tonality. It comes with the delivery and the gentleness in which he engulfs you in this like reality. Fantastic! I've only heard fifty seconds of it, and I'm like totally invested. Totally very recognizable. Yeah. yeah. Son of a nation. Kind of thing. This has made a mark in my mind. Um, That's a song book. Interesting. Yes. It's very common back home too. This arpeggio. arpeggio yeah. Yes. Again, in folkloric music. Yes. Katapusan. May patutunguhan ba ang ating pagsinta? Fantastic. Sabig lang tingin. Wow. Ay walang kinabukasa. Oh, the guitar playing. Oh, 
ay walang hanggang paalam at habang magkalayo papalapit pa rin ang puso kahit na magkahiwalay Wonderful dynamics, actually. changing my reality that shifted this this thing i i was i wasn't even there with them i was somewhere else i, I don't know and, and i can't even tell you where it transported me to you know that opening scene in fantasia the the disney movie i've never seen it you know what i find a lot of the time say i'm with someone and they say they they start they start the conversation like that the amount of times I say that, <laughs> it's so high. It's so often. And that well, quite bothers me. I right. just don't, I don't watch stuff. I don't have that much time. That's all right. It means that you're a busy person, unlike me. Listen, let me explain no, to you. No, I think when, when you're free, you do those things. And when I'm free, I do other stuff. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. When, I, when I'm free, I don't choose to that's, spend That's just a stuff. Disney classic. I just, like, Fantasia, isn't it? Fantasia. No, it's Fantasia. Oh. All right. Mickey Mouse, uh, right? Isn't it? Yes, that's right. But right at the beginning of the movie, mm -hmm. it opens up with a, an orchestra uh, prologue. Like, a, what is it called? Yeah, it's like a... a uh, it's an opening piece, right? So they, it's a really complex orchestral arrangement. arrangement. But in the as the movie begins, all of these shapes and figures and colors it's it's it starts on a blackout but you see you start to see shapes and colors and and things just form into beings and stuff right and that's that's what i felt when i was listening to this like it, i it, became formless for it, for a second like the, this untangible reality it created its own world yes that wasn't there and it wasn't here either yeah. there's somewhere in between the musicalization of it all um can you do me a favor yes can you Let's search, search up, up the, the lyrics, lyrics for that? <laughs> yes of course it seems pieces like this um which you know musically speaking um the the, the, the dynamics actually of this song are wonderful like they it, it's such a um uh like continuous yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's like water, like the sea. Yes, that's probably it's what it reminds me of. Fluid sound, like the beach. Yes, I agree with it, that. It's 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 not forceful, but it is impactful. It's uh, fluid, but yet it has is uh, it's quiet quietness, it's loudness. It's a really good piece. Indeed, so it goes indeed. like this. Um, I can't to read. be free. Oh, to be free and to, and set, to set others, others free. free. And it seems you think the same, only to set free the both of us. Our love is a never-ending goodbye. And while we're apart, despite us being separated and the ends of the earth, each beginning is also the end. Oh, 
Oh, that's actually a beaut- Wow, that's very deep. Is there a direction for our love? I thought you were asking me a question. I was asking you a question. That's why I intonated it like that. At one glance, there seems no future in sight. Now, are those bits that are uh, like non- not Subalibi yeah. malupig. Uh, is that um, because- you can't really translate that, or is that just not full translation? I don't really know. Let us know in the comments, please. Um, our love is a never-ending goodbye, and while we're apart, our hearts come together despite us being separated. At the ends of the earth... At our the ends is... of the earth. I'd love a, a full stop there, please. Our love is a never-ending goodbye, and while we're apart, our hearts come together despite us being separated. At the ends of the earth, at the ends of the earth. Report a problem. <laughs> Report a problem. <laughs> That is absolutely magical. The the sweetness and the romanticism feel to the ballad itself is it's very more is very is very alike to the the Hispanic vols that we ha used to have back home. Dun, 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 yes, dun, 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 but with a more dun, dun. like of a serenading feel to it rather than a dancey. I was about to say like it felt also like a, yeah like a, like a, like a. Like a love confession type yeah. of song. Like or... I would want to sing this to, you know, whoever yes. the, the, the love of my life is. It's like, it's like a, but not only, it's one of those songs that you sing in deep thought. Mm. It's, it's not a blatant Declaration love confession, love. Yeah. right? But it's it, it has this mystique to it. Um it's a beautiful composition. Wonderful. I think it was wonderfully executed by both uh, Dong Abai and Joy. I think both of them really have this like natural warmth and maturity to songs like this. This was 2017, so I, I wonder where he, what he's up to now and um, what they're kind of making. If, if he's still making music and stuff, I do let us know. I'd love to check it out. That's really cool, though. That was absolutely freaking transforming. Let's let's keep going with the first timers and let's check out um, Wensi Cornejo, which was someone that got very requested. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the way we do requests, in case you're new to the channel, is uh, we do a community post mm -hmm. a day prior, um, and that allows everyone to kind of you know put their comments of what they think we should check out and why. And sometimes you drop us links and even information. Yeah. Uh, according to the video or She's the lovely. artist. Uh, also impossible to check out everyone. We we try and do our best. Yes. Um, to see what the most requested things were. Uh, however, if you would like us to check something out and that you think we didn't hear, or that obviously we didn't check out here, do drop it in the comment section below and uh, we more than happily will. Especially this kind of first timers. They're, they're so interesting to check out and it seems a lot of people also enjoy it. So it's always cool to introduce other people to music and us introduce ourselves to new music because of you. So, That's Wensi right. Cornejo. Wensi Cornejo performing next in line at the, the Wish, Wish Bus. Bus. Okay, we should I do a Wish Bus down. special, fucking oh seriously. Oh my god, I feel like every time we go to the Philippines in, from this couch, is like, the Wish, wish Bus is must a big, be there. <laughs> player in our disco has been a big player in the discovery of many millions of people's music mm -hmm. in the Filipino scene. Mm -hmm. It's a great introduction to the OPM scene. Yeah. Ooh, two guitars, acoustic, lovely. You can do so much magic like that. Listen to how layer that is. Wish 1075. Was life to offer me? Ooh. Oh, nice voice. When I grow old, it's a very good question. What's there to look for? Especially if you ask it like that, and also with a scarf. Do you see that man walking on the streets dressed like that? He's an artist. You would think that man is a painter, a photographer. It's a creative spirit. There is no denying in that. Well, right? that he sings and he and he paints pictures with his words and voice. Yeah, Go there's on. no denying that he's an artist. Yeah. What's there to look forward to beyond? Abiding cold. Fantastic singing technique, though. They say it's difficult. What? His old textbook. Yes, stereotypical. What? Well, yes, sir. Fair beyond sleepy work in this cruel life. What it is there? Ain't nothing else round here but human strife. Cause they say it's difficult. I love this song. Yes, stereotypical. 
stereotypical. That that stereotypical and that that the the end of those call sounds they're very Elton John yeah. and I love them. Okay. And the backing vocal is just slowly coming in. Oh, it's brilliant! Look, 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 listen. Did it? Yeah, yeah, listen. Because they say it's difficult. Oh yes, I for a good ear, bro. You can be so radical, so I sing this song to all of my age. For these are the questions we've got to face. For in this cycle that we call life, we are the ones who are next in line. I didn't know I was gonna get existential today. This is one hell of a song. Also, deliver in the most relaxed, nonchalant manner ever. Ah, uh, it the just performance. I mean, it certainly goes. It's congruent with the message of the song. His sort of attitude and approach to the song. Perfect. Fantastic. Is this his original? I would think this is Steamed, his original. Put that up. Yes. Steamed singer songwriter Wensi Cornejo performs the OPM classic "Next in Line" live. Which was signature from the band. After from his band. From his band after Image. After the song Image. is a timeless plea for the youth to take action, leave the wrong mark, and make a difference. Wow! Telling you, didn't expect to be so existential today, but I welcome it with open arms. This is well, especially a pure if it's music. Ah, go on. Love it. We speaking the the, the the technicality on the vocal modulation and like the the usage of that laziness approach to the end of the phrases is so beautiful textbook theatrics yeah. and I, I love that it gives such depth to the thinking process nature of the song um so it really allows you to focus on the lyrics right straight away because he is delivering the story with each word has an intent there's subtext and it's very clear um and that only comes with the utilization of that diction the modulation to the to, towards the breathiness in certain moments in the phrase uh, obviously the the singing tonality to it it's very his i would think so it's it's a very personalized take to the singing aspect of it but what emphasizes the message is definitely the delivery. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to know what his background is. That would be quite interesting to find out. Mm. Because, um... It yeah, is I mean, very theatre-forward. Yeah, certainly yeah. very theatre-forward. I, I, it wouldn't surprise me also if, if he teaches. Um, so, because he's very... Even in everything he does, it's quite textbook, you know? Yes. So, let's, let's keep... I want to see how this progresses. Indeed. Obviously, in the piece itself... Perhaps his progression isn't going to be the most, what would you call it, climactic ever. But uh, because it's all about the plea. You know, it's a plea. And, and please have that kind of thing in common with the way they touch the person's heart. And then that those emotions turn into actions. It's by a repetition and That's sort of right. consistency and repeating that message again mm -hmm. and again. Mm -hmm. What's there to look forward to beyond the biting?
the build up towards this, the, the, the climax of the song is also very Jason Robert Brown ish. That's right. It's very, it's very, okay. Jason Robert Brown, for those who don't know, it's a musical composer, uh, contemporary style stuff. Uh, listen to The Last Five Years, one of my favorite uh, comp musical compositions from his, um, in his work. You but had those papers. Ah, uh, yes. Those were those papers. Yes, Jason Robert Brown. Yeah, yes, yes, I recognize yes. that name. Indeed. You played it as well at home. Yes, I, I do really enjoy his, his approach to musical theater because it's very contemporary. So even if you don't like musical theater, it doesn't say, feel like you listen to theater. Exactly. It's just, a, it's, it, it sounds like this type of compositions. You have really intricate build ups. It's all about the lyricism and the storytelling behind it. It's how you deliver the songs. And this really reminds me of that. Uh, I would love to see a Wensi Cornejo. And a Lea Salonga collab. Oh, interesting, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Go on. I've been proven wrong, though. I didn't think it was going to have such a climax. Oh, this is beautiful. Sing this song to all of our age. All oh, these are the questions we gotta face. For in this cycle that we call life, we are the ones who are next in love. In love. That's very cool, I like that a lot. Me too! Oh, we gotta feel, we gotta feel, oh, yes. so difficult, and stereotypical. stereotypical. Love that song, it's like, to be fair though, it's quite theatrical, if you think mm -hmm. about it. And the kind of, the, you know, I guess when you are growing up, right, like, um, <clears throat> oh. okay, my voice went. Um, you are growing up. Oh. I guess when you are growing up, um, you kind of like, like you, when you go to universities and stuff, and you mm -hmm. start growing up and reading and shit, you think you can obviously change the world, right? That's oh, all yes. like, you're just part of the youth. Um, but those types of questions are probably the ones that are starting to just be Bubble sprinkled up. in your mind. Like, mm -hmm. is this everything there is? Just work, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you know, earn money, work, party, spend all the money you you earned, um, and then wake up early in the morning, go to the job you you know that you don't really like, but you have to do because it it's money. Then study, then. Go again, repeat the pro. Is that really all there is? Yes. Um, and then you know, you look at other people. It's like maybe you know, maybe you you find someone you love, and uh, you get married, and then then you repeat that process again, and and you work and try and get money, and it's really it, they, those types of questions are uh, those are the ones that start to get sprinkled around, and unfortunately, right. that type of wisdom only comes with age. Where you notice, well, it turns out, you know, life isn't at all that linear. And it, not only that, but you gotta sometimes just life let be life. Yeah, yeah, I mean, certainly. I think also that... Not leave everything to destiny, but you gotta take action. And I, this is what this song is igniting. It's it's not about, ah, uh, okay, yes, these are the questions, let them be. No, they're not rhetorical questions. They're more like a let's take actions type of questions, right? I think this is more of a song than... That to refer to not take action in the physical sense, but take action in tackling such questions. Yes, of course, and like trying to find within yourself the, the, the answers yeah. that apply to you, because obviously these questions have different answers for different individuals, and I think that's that's what's so beautiful about this this piece is that they ignite self soul searching. Yeah, yeah, to, that's what music can do. Know, exactly, and especially when it's delivered to such a beautiful extent, and I think. You know, I, I, I first discovered consciously 
uh, this this type of like connection to music arrangements and and uh, what lyricism can actually do when I studied theater for the first few years I was like listen wait a minute there is so much that you can do through lyricism and storytelling and usage of diction and yeah. and musical arrangements that pair up with the emotional intent and then you're like wait wait a second you can do so much and I think that's when you start to de discover, develop all this like soul searching and then trying to answer yourself questions that might not have an answer up until five years later, you know, and, and, and it all comes to, I don't know, being self-reflective. Music definitely yeah. has a powerful, uh, it can definitely be a powerful vehicle into sharing this type of messages and yes. also igniting in people. Uh, such such searches. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, let us this know what you thought wonderful. about it. Wednesday is very very good. I'd love to know. Can you search him up on Google as well, just to search up what his sort of yes, what his background is. Oh, of course. Oh, the next person's Oggy. Oh, Oggy Al Kasid. Nice. Yes, baby. Nice artist. Okay, so this is. Keep, when... Stop saying that. What? What did I say? That word, What's baby. Baby. Oh yes, the baby. After image, click on the group. After image, after image. And where? At the top, look. In the Wikipedia, after image, oh, that's where? his band. I can't see. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Definitely can't see. Uh, it's a Filipino rock band who was active in the 80s and 90s. They disbanded 13 years after their formation, having released three studio albums after disbanding Wensi Cornejo, the band's vocalist, pursued a solo career. Mm -hmm. After image was the band behind the commercially popular song Habang Mabuhay, While There's mm -hmm. Life, Next in Line. Uh, and Mangarapka, which means dream. And in 2008, the band reunited and released their fourth studio album. How cool! The band's first first name was actually Touch the Sun. Oh no, first album was called Touch the Sun. And it's a alternative rock OPM. Yes, a Filipino rock band. Pinoy rock, pop rock. Very nice. Nice, bro. Approve. Yeah, well... I strongly approve of that. So he's a rock singer, right? You wouldn't expect that. No! How you... crazy is that? See, that's, that's the rich singing culture that comes from the Philippines, though. There's so much, the, like, it's just hard. It's hard to put it into words, but I, I, I don't think you get that type of, like... Pedigree. No, like, actual... I don't know, like, urge to be good at... At the at that craft, the, yeah, that the, craft. Yeah, yeah. There's like there's something that goes beyond just oh I can hit the notes, you know. Because what happens with the style of rock and alternative rock is that it gets lazy, right? right? Yeah, true, true, Especially true. from the singing standpoint, it can be very intricate musically speaking. We know that they're often known for that, but um, singing singing wise, it's actually known for being laid back and a little bit lazy and. Yeah. And it, that's the whole appeal But to if you're going to find some of the weakest vocalists, it's going to be in alternative rock, in rock. Yes. And Especially rock, yeah. Alternative the rock, the rock. Pinoy rock scene, it's not that. No, no, no. At all. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at Oggy. Oggy, okay. Completely see. different style. He's not yes. going to sing rock. No, the, he's definitely going to sing you a ballad. Oh, yeah. And he's going to sing Ikao La Mang. Ikao La Mang, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, he's turning the city upside down. Dude, I saw that video of SB19 in the Wish Bus. It was literally like a national strike. Yeah, like I just saw they're about to release, so do watch out for that video in the Wish Bus channel. They're gonna probably post that soon. And I'm sure if you know SB19, you, you probably already know when he's gonna be posted, so you're ahead of us. But uh, yeah. You guys sending it, us pictures of, like, wah, wah. of how it Mapa was. And the, well, the, the singer. Everyone's yeah. going nuts. But anyways, go on. Yes. It's a wish bus musicians, I think, because they have wish bus. Is that USA? In his top? No, it's no, 1075. This is actually one of my favorite compositions. Oh, yes. Talk to them, Ogi. Originally Ogi. sung by Gary V. Oi. And this is my own version. Let's go. They're besties. They're mates, yeah? Wish. 1075. Ika. Lama ang lagi kong iniisip oh. ang lagi kong panaginip I love how 
like humble is like just rocking up and said Gary's name into the whole mixture of things, right? Yeah. You should have I should have foreseen it, but I d I didn't. And it's taking me by surprise how incredibly difficult it is to depict where the singing phrase is actually going to end. The journey is so incredibly unpredictable yet so delightfully enjoyable. Well, Gary has those He has those in very intricate, unique mannerisms that I've never heard anyone else do. They're just his. Yeah, yeah. That um that allow him to to like it's like he has this natural riff on his not not riff like a run because the way he comes off with things yeah it's like a little shakeroo it's so you awesome can, you can picture it in your mind and you can hear it yeah yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. it's and, the Gary V sound and that I think that allows him to uh, journey through songs differently than the average singer okay yes you know totally I I agree so seeing August take is obviously also you know very very him but. The song naturally requires that kind of, again, that kind of, I don't know, skill level to even be able to try and sing it. Expertise. I think it comes with wisdom. And real uh, life experience of being behind that mic. And I think uh, up to this point, up to this point, every singer we have uh, witnessed. Yeah. Is that your ear? Yeah, that is my oh. ear. <laughs> it's like a little elf just poking out. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's, it. they all have so much wisdom and and actual <laughs> it looks so funny all right so that's no you were saying yeah they have so much wisdom mate you don't want to be on camera with one of your ears poor but you know okay nice so just, thank you I, just, I fixed it <laughs> I fixed it all right i fixed it I fixed it <laughs> oh thank you um, <laughs> like shake hands like come on shake it like come on. there you go Proper. There you go. um yeah i think it comes with a lot of uh of not wisdom alone, but uh, expertise, like a lot of experience yeah. in the field. Real life experience, yeah. yeah. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> environment though yeah, he's so that's, famous that guy that's actually quite distracting you when you're cry. trying to what no, you're not crying. no it's because i sneeze oh, sorry, now sorry. my whole nose is going to sound like this for a while no, it's fine. um yeah i think it's that the, the he's so aware of the environment these are things that would naturally put anyone off yeah uh but he is so controlled and so aware and so relaxed and this song requires mental focus as well as body tension redirected to the right places because um, there's a lot of pulling back and 
refinery of the sound and mouth modulation it's a complicated piece yeah. people it's hard and he's singing it like it's you know your everyday good morning song true true very good though uh, i love it it's, it's very impressive very complex song sometimes you know complex songs can sometimes not be as enjoyable you know because oh but this is a walk quite in hard the park. to comprehend but this is very yeah it's very yeah. consumable I don't know what type of magic this is. This well, very is really rarely nice. do you find ballads that have this type of complexity in delivery and become very popular. Yeah, that's that's yeah. correct. So. Correct. <laughs> mm. Oh, that boss in the back. Yeah. The master back home so much. Hard entry too. waiting room i've never seen that yes, look at that i never that's really nice the far to right see. Yes, i've yes. never seen that well you're seeing the screens there that you're seeing what's happening inside because here. then the studio the, is actually on, on the this left side. yes that's right well not a studio but you know what i mean where like the mixing the, the mixing yeah. happens yeah i see, I see yeah what such a beautiful oh, listen such a beautiful delivery such a beautiful composition it's a like I said, I keep seeing, saying it, it's very hard. There is a lot of moments there where you got to pull back into a classical set because he's, he, he's modulating it from a really refined uh, uh, singing technique. Mm. Um, it's probably the hardest approach to singing a song like this because it comes from that it comes from that classical uh, uh, singing perspective. So uh, using that switch into falsetto, but it's not a complete falsetto. It's like a head voice. Yeah. Um, so it's like a classical train. So there's like the back of the head rising, the soft padded rising, and uh, the really soft um, delivery of the note itself. It requires so much physical power as well as mental focus. And he was doing that in like a way that it's you really were impressive. like... Ooh. Yeah, that's a brilliant song. What what it, it does feel like a caress, like yeah, something, mate, like something soft. I'm playing that... the, I'm playing this tonight, well, even though it is tonight. But I play it tonight, like to just ease off and let all my worries go. Oh completely. yes, completely. Yes, I. I wonder I, what the lyrics are. What does "ikau lamang" mean? Ikau means I. You. <laughs> ikau means a a ko. Okay. A ko means, means I. I. That's true. But ikau. I, Ikao tu? That's how I think about it. Ikao Laman was actually a series. Oh, no, God, maybe not. <laughs> I think it means you. You, Man. you Laman. You Laman. Uh, Ikao Laman. Laman. Uh, what is it? Translation. Gary V. Okay, yes, translated. Yeah. Only you. Only you. Ikao. Laman means only. Yes. And then right. Ikao means you. You. Okay, what do we have correct. next? 
Okay, correct. We have. Oh, very nice. Next, we got SB19. They're gonna be uh, singing uh, Hangang Sahuli. Uh, I know this is one of the songs that we currently listen to them quite often, but this is Stell and. Uh, yeah. Hola, hola, hola. Okay, game, game. Ready to say This happened on a Facebook live. Say you. Pablo, 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 my man. Why do they call him Sejo? I don't know. Pablito. Pa- Pablito, my man. Yeah, this this just got really requested lately. It and uh, I remember now, just seeing the video, and we just thought, I mean, we just put it on the podcast, because why not? Absolutely. And, I mean, uh, talk lately, about power vocals. Yeah, there was, an, there was a video that got requested a lot as well, but that was part of their online concert. We've seen that, so... Mm-hmm. We, I mean, what the fuck's the Beautiful point? Beautiful concert. Checking it out again. Yeah. Yes, a wonderful mm-hmm. concert. What was Watch. it, Back in the Zone or something? Yes, Back in the Zone. Some of the last called, yeah. It um, was fantastic. The w- choice of outfits, the display on the stage, everything. Yeah. We were very was... happy to see as well, like, uh, Adonis be involved and uh, yes. see a, a few other friends be involved, which is, I mean, it's a good, great Such production. Such a huge production, though. Like, they really went all out. And I think it's it takes, it takes a... Uh, a whole lot of effort yeah. from a team as well as from the talent. And, and the girls, the girls as well were involved. Uh, what are their names? Um, oh, Fourth Thing Impact. Fourth Impact. They were but they involved. Did... Huh? That was in a different one. Yeah, that that was for the concert. December. They did like the uh, the. It was like a proper concerto like yeah. set. Uh, they did yeah. really well as well. They said good stuff. But we've seen those ones. That's why yes. we saw those. We saw obviously saw those requests. But this also got requested in the past, so we thought we'll do it now. So yeah. Okay. No, it, it came up today. Really? Yeah, oh, today very nice. Closer. Turn up, bro. That's actually quite interesting. You see, you see, you see that stretch Why on the face? Why did he do that? Because there's a lot of tension that builds right here at the beginning, like where your jaw tightens. Actually, these are your strongest muscles in the face right here. Nice, oh. right? I know. Do you like it? <laughs> so right here, from where the the little septum uh, area of your ear begins, that's yeah, where the it, most <laughs> that's where the most tension starts. So you really push there, <laughs> and you must. Oh, I feel so area. weird. Now it feels really different. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you are so dramatic, sir. But Can yeah, you tell, am I really tense? Yes. It usually is the, one of the most tense parts, like ten, tension-prone places of the face. Obviously, the strongest muscles in the face too. So to relax that area, you often try to expand it over more and then also relaxes the facial muscles so you can sing more freely. Really? Right, okay. Yeah. Thanks, mate. No problem, but I love to see it. Yeah. We love to see those things. Oh, that's actually awesome because it's so close to the mic. Oh, that's that song I love. He says, That's the I love one. that song. Yeah, that's yeah. The uh, but it, the cool thing about that you're seeing here as well is that you're seeing isolated harmony work. Like you're seeing what they individually do in this song, which as a, as a duet, it wouldn't have the same effect yeah. as when you see it with the, the rest of the lads, right? So here, here, individual work. Yeah, so it, this is really cool to study what they individually do throughout the song. Um, obviously, you're talking about the two tops. Yeah. Uh, so in, in a in a vocal setting, you would be talking about a soprano and a mezzo working in that. Mezzo. Yeah. Soprano. Indeed, body, body, body. Yeah. That, that's on. the one, body. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, harmonies. 
really hurts me. See how close the harmonies are together? I love. It would be okay, interesting after this. I want to see the, the rest. Original? No, I want to see the rest of the other three members. What do the What do they do? What What A is separate the, video is the, like that? Yeah. What What do they are doing individually throughout the whole journey of the song? I want it. I think. Uh, Show what, it to what me. What we'll do is play. We'll play this towards at uh, the end, and then put mm -hmm. the audio version of the original mm -hmm. just in these sections to see mm -hmm. so people can also see the difference just in case yes. it might be your first time oh i mean i'm pretty sure everybody has heard the song mate it's so point. crazy sometimes uh okay you know what i mean because i i genuinely try and read all the comments um i am not mad at the fact that we would get to listen to the uh, the song one yeah, more yeah. Time. And, and people sometimes generally find like oh what was that song at mm -hmm. this point more like you know 52.25 whatever and then it's like, oh, that's Hang Gang Sauli. Like, yeah. I thought everyone knew that song. Yes, But, yes, you know, yes. but it just, you know. Fair enough. We'll do it again. What? No, no, no. <laughs> transition still my man <laughs> gosh you're going from a really grounded uh, super relaxed uh, vocal tonality which is actually quite relaxing for the larynx right. into a really stiff setting for the vocal folds in this change of the bridge gosh his his whole physiognomy of of, of vocal work changed Mama, Whoa. you are a star. I've just made us like tiny bits of snacks. Oh my God, look at that plate. Bring it over, Mimi. Oh, what is this? I think it's just like... <laughs> Mom's like showing it. <laughs> I think it's just like oh. uh, cheese and ham. Mm, on with sriracha. Oh yes, Mama. Thank you so much. Try the bread. Try the bread. Okay, trying the bread. Try, try, try. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That is so good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mama deserves a round of applause. Oh yeah. Thanks, oh Mama. yeah, Mamucha. Thank you so much. But yeah. Mm. Mm. You were saying about the stiff folds. Yeah. The transitions of the stiff folds. So if you pay attention to the to the transition from that really relaxed, subtle, um grounded chest voice something that's really naturally resonant, thank you very much, to um, a, a more refined, stiffer uh, fold in the, in the vocal tonality. It actually changes the whole dynamics of the vocal itself. Thank you, Mama. Listen to the tonality of his vocals here, and then see how they change. They're light and they're ringy. They bro provide this really like lifted sound to it right. um, that wasn't there before. It's really well supported. Modulation is actually quite classical too. He got oh beautiful check beautiful shot right there. <laughs> yes, look at how high his soft palate is lifted and how incredibly open the jaw has become. Right. So it it, re it, it creates this really like high resonant uh, back of the head sound. That's what people call a head voice, but not really there <coughs> yet. I like to call it more of a mixed. Um, setting. setting of the larynx. Um, I don't like that. 
a whole idea of, oh, this is a head voice, or this is a oh, chest really? voice. I don't you explain that to me? I don't know what that means. Well, it's just uh, how resonant and where is the sound actually providing the, the, the full fall of the resonance. So where is the resonance residing? That's, That's going to be on my, my head. It, it's because it, it reson- it, 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 you're sending the resonance to the soft palate, the back of the head. Mm. So that that's why people will call it the head voice because you're sending it back towards the back of your head. So you're, you're anchoring this way and it looks like that. This is what your face looks like. So you're sending the sound back towards the this area. So all of this is anchoring for him. Right. Instead of when you find a belt, for example, that is so chesty, so resonant here so down the there? Similar to what Stell is doing, absolutely. So it's very rested here, and you can actually see how his larynx are actually pulling a little bit further down. I see. Um, and he's lifting his chin up. Okay. Completely different to what Pablo's doing. Yeah, so, true. It's very interesting. Very um, cool. So yeah, it's, it's really cool to see how differing approaches to singing techniques can actually favor the... Uh, the textures in harmonies because that's something that people don't talk about often like what type of uh, textures you require to to provide the right depth okay. in a song yeah because harmonies is a tricky work yeah. it's tricky it's tricky stuff <laughs> Good resolution. <laughs> too strong, too strong. <laughs> yeah, because Stel is really used to this. Thank you. Yes, Great example of what strong folded the sounds can actually provide in a in a in a harmony if you're too full fold it comes too strong you become the main center focus of attention and you hear both of the differences here here is more of a belty sound and you can actually see the struggle there struggling you know what i mean like Ooh, physical effort. physical yeah. effort into it and then you see the change in the technique and it becomes more classical it goes back to that high resonance soft palette and it creates that really big depth to the sound and it creates the layered sounds that you were looking for right Did you see that oh soft baby soft i'm out <laughs> leave you do it bro <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Coste- Costello is usually the one that's Yay. like. Thank you so much, Sejun. Did you not hear that you're from Sejun? Say you're not even in the camera. You're back in Russia. That's interesting. Why do you call him? Why does he call him Sejun? What do you say? It's like a nickname, or maybe that's like. Maybe that's like his actual like birth. Ken. Yeah, like birth name and artist names. Like I didn't you know, know have that. like. Google that. I did think. I did think that you know that might not be. This is actually tequila, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't YouTube. It's water. Look, look. It's look. actually canned look. water. Water. Recy- recyclable. 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 Cans water. of water. Because mum <laughs> loves them. They sell them in the cafe she loves to go to. <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> oh, dude. Pablo, birth put name. Senjun. No, just put Senjun. I just want to know. No, no. Name. Okay, Senjun. Sen Why do they call him that? I don't know. It does come up, though. I'll give you that. Mahalkita, Mahalkita. I think uh, formerly known as Sen- oh, formerly. Sejun. So maybe he changed his... Uh... His, his real name is pa- uh, John Pablo Nase. 
Oh, so maybe it's like a nickname that they used to. Yeah, maybe it's like some. It's like you know. Oh, that's a question there. Why did he change his name? Change name uh, to Pablo, which is derived from his real name. Pablo mm-hmm. tend to forget birthday, so he has to calendar it. If he had deserted island, he would choose what? I don't know what the fuck that is. But um, some, yeah, some random facts. Yeah, love He's that. He's considered as the most romantic member. Hello. Oh. Um, so Romanticism. yeah. Pablo, mate. What a good choice. What a good change. <laughs> and now you can, because you can evolve from Pablo to Pablito. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> yeah, Pablito. I mean, no, you don't need to upgrade it. It's just like a side thing. Oh, I see. It's just a side gig. Okay. okay. Um, let's that. check out. Where, ding, where's my Where's my water? Ding dong. Avanzado. Yeah. Yes, which for is the first time. Jada's father, you, right? Yes, that is correct. Now there is a song that he's got with Jessa, uh, which is Jada's Jessa mother. Saragossa. Okay, his she wife is so hot. And uh, yeah, she doesn't look her age at all. And she's also a good singer. Mm-hmm. But that's the video is with Universal. And uh, it's probably going to get blocked. Indeed. They're really nice. They're really nice people. <laughs> and But the thing is, it's going to get blocked. Do you know what's fun? They are going on tour, the three of them. <laughs> Jessa, <laughs> Ding Dong really? and Jada. They're all going on tour that's soon. That's brilliant. How it's, freaking fun! That's brilliant. Good on them. So we've never checked out. We've checked out Jess and we've checked, uh, you know, checked her out even with with Jada. And uh, but we never checked them. Checked him out. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna sing "To Love Again" featuring the doorbells. Mm-hmm. So let's give it a watch. <laughs> When are they touring? Fine. Soon, I don't know. It helps me forget for a while. Ah. I look back and recall. So, he, so that's how he got Jesse. He sang to her. Sometimes I need a friend. Very good looking family, but God. The vocals of him. <laughs> Okay, yes, I... Yeah, I'm telling you, I think it's a prerequisite in the Philippines. You want a very, you know, you want a beautiful woman, you must sing. Bro, I just don't... This is singing levels that yeah. are just so great. There, there is the sweetness to his vocal tonality, but then there is the melody to yeah. the vocal tonality. Like... I don't know. There is like a natural sing song, like rhythm to it, and it's very natural and fluid. Ooh, I love it so far. Go on. Yeah. Just to make it through another day spent without. You see that melody? It's so rhythmical, melodious. Indeed. It's also very. Watch the dong perform his classic is him to love again together with his band the doorbells. So right, so he where, is called, where do I, where so the... he is called the original uh, prince of pop of the oh. Philippines. So you probably a lot of people probably covered this. Right. And then you've probably heard it in covers, but this is the original. And he performed this not long ago, I mean a couple a few years, but 2017. Mm-hmm. Um but what's interesting about him is that he, he is a very uh, tune-forward singer, so he carries the tune, I don't know if that's even the... Carries the melody yes. really well, even if there was no instruments. Yeah. Um, he, he he has this ca- odd capability of... Uh, uh, Creating meme 
music out of nothingness. Of inducing melody through his voice, which I mean, ironically enough, that's just called singing. But yes, but it, it, there is there is a uh, I think there is a gift yeah. that comes to certain singers and the way that they have developed the 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 craft itself, uh, the technique, because a lot of people can sing. Yep. And some people will tell you a story. Some people will take you by the hand in the story. Yeah. But not many can actually provide a melody, which is I know it's uh, I know uh, maybe contradicting in the whole sense of singing itself. No, no, this brings us back to the idea of you can play music, but you can lack character, or you can lack flavor, flavor you can or... lack seasoning, you can lack um, and and. He's certainly not one of them. He, he seems to carry... Um, it's like Melody th- runs through his veins. Again, I'll be really interested on his sort of background. Yes. And maybe maybe his family was also very musical forward. Who uh, knows? I would love to know where the singing influences actually come from. Yeah. Uh, because there's, an, there's a lot of vibrato to the end of the phrase, which is, is a very old-like technique yeah. from that serenading uh, balladeer... Uh, Singing style, yeah, style of music. That it's gonna be a happy ending. It's a great if song. I should love again, once I've learned to love again. Nice. Who sang this? Oh, like, uh, who have I heard? Is the drummer and the bass player that bring that kind of funky vibe with the change? Yes, yes, it, yes. it evolves from a ballad to like a funky, more flavorsome f- song. So yes. it, it very linear, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah. yeah. Give me flavor. Dracutu, dracutu, dracutu. Both so nicely. Well, they're, they're having the time of their lives. I mean, also, what a, what a name. Ding Dong. Ding Dong Avanzal. Who's, is that maybe his artist name? Because if not, he was made to be an artist. Yeah, some people do have... He has such a rain have... rise. Like, Ding Dong Avanzal, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like, I think some people just have, like, parents are creative and they give this their kids. Well, I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense, like, seeing, obviously, Jade as maturity in terms of artistic maturity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, again, 
yeah, maybe she's also that. Maybe that's also what people say about her. It's like maybe she's also mature just in general. But artistically, which is the way we got to know her, is yeah, that a lot of maturity comes from that. And you can definitely tell by the way she's being, it seems, brought up. Yes. Musically, the influences she obviously has, mother and father, are ginormous. Um, and they're very, they're very well nurtured singers. Mm. They're not, they're not like, uh, I don't know, your, I don't know how to even, they're not your common pop popular music singer people yeah. like that- these are po- the people that have spent their lives refining their the style. singing style itself yep. and there's nothing harder than having to sing ballads that's what i mean by pedigree yes that jada is the best example of that is is that she comes from one of the highest singing pedigrees you virtually can Indeed, come from yes, yes parents yes, yes. It's successful undeniable. singers very successful technical singers mm-hmm. within you know intricacies of their own yes songwriters actors actresses <laughs> and incredibly good great looking <laughs> yeah i mean that's obviously a, a, always a plus uh, especially in that industry but their relationship seems to be so well nurtured as well in the mm-hmm. sense of musically musically not like the parents thing but that's a that's a complicated aspect of a relationship yeah because your feelings also get in the way of you know you want to protect your daughter and your son but you must also let them dwell in the deep waters of creativity you and must it, also and let them it, live and when it comes so natural given given uh you know talking to jada uh, you get to understand that there's a lot of that natural inclination it was such a natural progression for her right she she began experimenting with the idea of writing her own stuff really, really That's so early crazy, on, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so the 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 whole maturity that comes with acknowledging your feelings and your emotions and your own thought processes and writing them down, composing something of that, um, it must it, it must have been natural in her environment, but it takes a lot of uh, maturity. It, it, it from from within you know um so it's it's an admirable admirable environment so the three of them as a composition as 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 artists it's so satisfying to witness she's a yeah she's a special girl and it obviously seems special parents too so indeed it makes sense well someone else who is uh, rather special and has been fucking kicking ass lately and it's um, our last song of the day. Yeah. Um, there's been a couple of videos as well that we've kept in the back burner because, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously we can't check out every song made in the university. Um, <laughs> but we have added them on another list. Like there was, So many was first it? times. It's Mark so exciting. Caprio. Yeah. Um, there's a couple more. Uh, so we will check them out throughout the week. Not, not, no need to worry. Mm-hmm. Um, but one that I wanted to check out because we also missed it when it kind of happened. Yes. Um, was Arthur Neri. Uh, he and played his... Paxamo. Yeah. Um, in the Wish uh, Awards or something. Yes, or something. indeed, indeed. Um, it was heavily requested, so here we are finally watching it. I'm so excited. You know. I love this song with all my whole soul. Well, is a huge fan of Arthur. It's so hard. <laughs> Look at the stage. Like the amount of times I listen to Zach, Bally listens to that amount to Arthur. Live arrangement, though. Here's a fun little story as well. But let's go find out Arthur Neri before any of you requested it <laughs> um, in some of her endeavors that she dives in. And uh, actually, you know what? It was one of T- Janine Tenyoso's. Ah. Uh, not her call up. She was like, "Vale, you want to listen to some great music? Listen to Arthur." And I was like, "Okay." I mean. Kiana also recommended some artists that were listening to at the moment. I can't remember who though, because she was like, "Oh, there's so many underrated." When That's they were kind of when they were kind of underrated, she, I think she, she must did. have mentioned Arthur. And and like, I think um, she also talked about Janine. So I think it was all, <laughs> yeah. So it's all about like it's is is this whole realm of R and B growing no. scene in the Philippines. Um, By the way, Kiana V's latest song, Check banger, out, yeah. What's it banger, called? disco, de- disco night me, or something. Let me make like sure that. I do it justice. Yes, please do. Because she's uh, about to release um, a new project. I think. I think she's literally released it video uh-huh. yeah four days ago it's called heartbeat on me oh heartbeat on me that freaking video is fantastic and the beat is nice yes and it was directed by gabriel valenciano nice 
Um, gab gubs, gubs yeah, in yeah. the so gubs in the house. Give it a watch. Truly, this is all the love in the world. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so Bale Bale found Arthur, but a, a song of his that wasn't that very popular. A and really then long time ago, you gave us, and we didn't know that at that point we actually knew Arthur was. We checked out that song that then we posted on the channel, the and like, Bale after was like, oh, I actually have him on my playlist. He's on my, he's on my history. He's on my like some of my playlists. Yeah, that so wasn't the first thing. The same was Kiana actually. Yes, um, I had checked out some of her songs like three years ago. Actually, before, one song. It before like we viral. even knew about the OPM scene. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, damn, this goes good. <laughs> we love this. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, anyways, come. Yeah, sorry. The live arrangement is good. This is hard. That layer at the beginning. This. It's like they sampled him. Let us out. He said. Oh! It's heaven! What a vibe! microphone people that's why he's so steady and the way that he is modulating the way that he's just literally so freaking relaxed everything is so energy economic it is beautiful this is real real this is live life there is no makeup on this stuff got like a pearl that's an earring i like it oh nice aware of every shift every breath every movement every modulation everything is just so brilliantly calculated and this is the type of performances that take the original song and put them in the back burner well the live you, uh, well, this is some of those performances where people then choose to watch the live version rather yeah. than the studio version yeah yeah <laughs> no wonder this is so popular yeah. like i totally understand that it's because you you get to see a completely brand new version of something that is not radically different. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird. It's like it's kind of hypnotic. You know that song by um, Chris Isaac, uh, Wicked Games. Yeah, you always make that comparison. No, but here's why. Because I recently just watched a video of Chris Isaac singing it today, Life. like two days same, ago. Same, same, same. Even better. But with the same mannerism, like really still, very composed, very like easy. Yeah. And it just, it's just so, it's okay, moving on. It's also really enjoyable. I mean, he's very popular. And I think one of the reasons why he's very popular is because of those. He's so minimalistic, yet certain in his delivery of things. Um, yes. He's a, he's a very impressive... Uh, and even though it's a minimalistic approach to performing, uh, it doesn't lose emotion or entertainment that's value. That's what I mean. There's lots of certainty behind each, yes. each delivery of each line, you know? Mm-hmm. So just because he's not moving doesn't mean it's not a 
a congruent, certain, confident performance. That's right. There's many ways of exp expressing that. Or less entertaining, because I think that's the fear most of uh, uh, most singers actually well, less, approach. Less entertaining if you're not singing pop, you fuck it. If you're singing this, <laughs> yeah, you can't be out here doing, you know, handstand press-ups. That's a wrong. <laughs> can't sing like that. Yes, yes. Woohoo, bing bong. <laughs> If you see those dogs, see these dogs in your front yard. <laughs> Just know, I'm stairs, I'm going hard. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> that guy's so fucking funny. Somebody's making fucking <laughs> harmonies out of that. Jazz, jazz. Out of it. Out of that. Bing bong. I know. I want that just to gradually keep getting people building on it more and more until it's just a choir mm -hmm. of collaborations of TikToks. Mm -hmm. Anyways, go. On. Thank you. Wonderful. Hello, hello. People. Go left. My brain Ladies is gentlemen, freaking this, melting. Th this is what it looks like to have one of the best performances of your life. I don't even know if that's one of the best performances of your life, but like a lot of artists would die to sound this good life. And no, and uh, with the gain and with the uh, given this environment, I genuinely would love to to know what he thought of this because that genuinely like. Again, genuinely think it might be one of the best performances of his life. If not, like, that's fucking insane, bro. Because everything's gone so well. There's nothing Everything. wrong with it. And, and that shit is life, bro. Let me tell you so many things can. That mic is on. That's like 100% on. There's nothing after. There's no pose. There's this no is pose. It. There's no makeup. There's no... Whatever. Yes, behind any of this. Oh, maybe very tough from Wish, may I say. But whatever happened <laughs> that day, that's what you're seeing. You that's know? right. So, well, it did air live, right? So uh, this, yeah. this, this was happening in the moment. Yes. They just clipped it. So I'd love to see what he thought of it. You know, funnily enough, knowing fucking artists nowadays. They'll like, be like, I actually was not happy no, with that. No, not nowadays. Forever. It's always been it's like that. It's this... It's the artist complex. It's a running meme. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to be like, yeah, I actually... I don't wasn't think it's my happy. best. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't, you know, there was one I run there be. that I don't think, ah, oh, I wish I could have done that again. This is wonderful. Oh, so perfect. This is freaking magical. Who's it with? Viva. Viva Records. Right, same as uh, Janine and... Same as Janine Tenyoso, yes. Right, cool. And a... Uh, oh, I love him. Uh -huh. He'll come Ethan. back to me. Ethan Lucas. Ethan Lucas. Yes, Efra, thank you very much. They're all in the same label. Yeah, I remember because he collaborated with Janine. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Yeah, they got some pedigree, don't they? They some got they got one lineup. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 
No, because it, it opens. You see, you open your jaw inside of your mouth, and then it creates a, a fuller sound. It mm -hmm. fools you into believing that it's an open mouth sound, but it's but still yeah. it's still closed mouth. Jaw changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like <laughs> that's life. Economic and so resonant. There's no, so, there's no drama. No, no, there's no. Paste. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it's a, it's a it's an award show, remember? It's a one stage for everybody that goes to perform. So why and no drama? Because not everybody takes a band. Not everybody has a band. Like Vision what? didn't perform with the band. SB19 doesn't perform with the band. So it's space wise. But there was also, a band, but but there was the drums. There were drums there. Yeah, mate. Are you? Oh no! I was just totally enthralled by our bloody Arthur. blind look. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they have more more space here, but they, there's no one playing them. Oh, fair enough. I mean, yeah. he Why just no? likes to play with the track. Maybe it's just it is what it is. Every singer sings differently. Hey man, don't put us out of work. <laughs> Listen, that was magic. Yeah, yeah. Sir, yes. It's so good, eh? You know what's very impressive as well is like um. I mean, this is obviously why he's, uh, again, why he's become so popular. He's really enthralled and embodied himself in this kind of uh, a public persona. I mean, it might just be how he is as well. Who knows? Cheers to that. Um, that might just be how he is, but he's truly embodied his piece of work artistically, mm -hmm. personally, and he delivered it in such a, a, a unique, enjoyable and well-packaged manner. Um, which no wonder why he, you know, he's pulling the traffic, he's pulling the traction. He deserves it all. He's so, uh, what would you call it, popular. And, of course, and, and to a certain extent, it is beating some of the preconceptions of the industry mm -hmm. in the Philippines mm -hmm. and even in Asia in general, where R&B is in, you know, alternative R&B isn't really the number one ever. Yeah, It hasn't been. And that power vocals aren't king. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, it's, it's not about the high belt and the no, high, no. it's all about the vibe. Cadence, vibes, delivery, intent, certainty. Uh, marketability and and he has proven that it's all possible yeah and this is also the evolution of this style of music is so much more approachable especially with this new age mm -hmm. of technology and it, it, it this is the type of music that will break the barriers yeah um, because it proves without proving the quality and the pedigree of the industry worldwide and people can and people are just led by emotions anyway so this yes. is like the type of music you put in tiktoks and the type of music you put in copulations of shit and uh, all this stuff all the young you kids the, do and you read the lyrics and they're, they're just so relatable yeah, you know yeah. anyone feels that way <laughs> yeah, it also highlights the magic of of the language mm. of the philippines so through cadence and yes. not through just power vocals which obviously have their own magic but that also has an audience indeed this has to this has more of a broader audience, given its ease of consumption. I think the replayability value here yep. is magnified. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, listen, this this is just no scientific wonderful. question. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is just no formula to this. It's just 
he really embodied it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, and I am thoroughly impressed. Let us know what other people thought about it and whether you yes. liked it. I mean, obviously this happened like a little while back in life, so let mm-hmm. us know the reception of people. I hope. What do you think if this is your first time watching? Any of the artists that we watched today, let us know what, did what you, you discover? think, what did you discover. And yeah, don't forget to tune in this Friday. Uh, it- Sunday, you mean? S- Sunday. This is Friday. This is Friday. Gosh, yes. yeah. See you Sunday, people. Have a good uh, weekend. We're we? going to be covering, we're going to be re- uh, uh, reviewing some albums. Uh, I do <laughs> want to say that in case you've missed it, we are going live every Friday with Feature Friday Station. Yes. So if you'd like to see your music be played live at the moment and mm-hmm. you you know you hear our opinions live in the moment, we also get a chance to speak to you guys. Yes, so which many is very you, fun. So many of you tune in. You know, we've only done once, but last week it was fucking insane. So I really appreciate all the support. Apart from that, I really. If you're here tuning in from the Feature Friday Station live stream, we love you all. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I also want to say it awesome to us regardless of where you watch in the world you tune mm-hmm. in every week and uh, you discover new music and and also the support that you enjoy the way we do things you know it, it is quite weird the way we do things and we're kind of <laughs> always learning and adapting so thanks so much for staying with us all the way indeed it's mental to think that it's half a million of us now and uh, uh you know the podcast is doing you know we think better and better those yeah numbers. yeah it's really cool. It's really opening up so many things for us and it means the world. Uh, apart from that, guys, thanks for coming and uh, see you later. All right, goodbye. Peace.